in the height of the first world war embassies were created of free india across europe particularly germany where people like virendra chattopadhyay uh, and several others um, had had formed a, a parallel government of free india already along with the german help and the german warships were coming and attacking british india the ports uh, particularly of south india of uh, port blair and so on mm. uh, lala hardeyal and the gadar party had taken the movement all the way till north north america and uh, you know canada where the komagata maru uh, episode also happened so mm. all these figures right through the uh, our struggle for freedom uh, the kind of sacrifices they gave um, many of them from outside india and then of course a lot of them from within india uh, these names these figures and the with these labels that are put i, I mean for revolutionaries you have uh, bipin chandra and ridula mukherjee and others who in their book call them even today as terrorists uh, mm -hmm. you know in the books and these are the books that are that are uh, you know prescribed for university for upsc exams and so on and quite recently you had and who are the terrorists bhagat singh uh, jatin das uh, so many other shurjo sen all these people are called uh, terrorists revolutionary terrorists uh, so i think it was in 2016 it was bhagat singh's family which took a lot of exception to this uh, mm -hmm. saying this term itself is so loaded and uh, it is being used in independent india a term that was used against their forefathers by the british uh, right. to call them terrorists today and for a young person what does that do pujita ji who reads uh, and says bhagat singh is a terrorist at the same time the television is flashing news about uh, uh, terrorists gunning down so many civilians in kashmir or what is he happening equates this person with yeah, subconsciously or like oh bhagat singh was one of these kind of uh, loonies who were Uh, you know killing people or going on a rampage so these terms are very very important mm -hmm.